words and the messages that are constantly feeding us will, will oppress our good human nature. And I'm going to stop with this. You know when it starts to affect you? When you feel shame about saying the right thing. Are doing the right thing when you when you, when you when the environment is so toxic that you feel shamed about saying or doing the right thing, then that oppressive word environment is getting to you. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihi al-kareem Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'ina amma ba'da Dear beloved Muslims, brothers and sisters, as we conclude for today we want to encourage each other to follow the advice of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa If you want to know who your mind is clinging to, ask yourself who do you quote the most? So you don't have to be public, just in private. And, and it doesn't even have to be what comes out your mouth. It's when you're trying to process something, what quotes are coming to your mind to help you process it? Okay. And whatever quotes are coming to your mind to help you process it, that's the thing that, the, that comes up most frequent. That's the thing that your mind is clinging to. The, the prayer is that is the Quran and the life example of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa oh, You say, hey, ma'am, how, how, how does that have to do with, I'm, I'm studying uh, uh, anatomy and physiology. Oh, of course, I, I told you Allah is written in your heart, right? You follow the electrical pattern, you literally. You follow the electrical pattern of your heart, it says lillah, lillah. You just follow it, it's just like that. Right? It starts with the essay note. It goes through your heart. Lillah. Lillah. Love dub. Love dub. Love dub. Every, every time your heart is beating, your heart can't beat with, without your electrical circuits in your heart. The path of the electrical circuit spelling the name Allah. So Allah is written in your heart. So as you begin to study these different things, the Quran becomes the key to you. When I was in chemistry, I was looking at the noble gases, you know. So this is for our teenagers, those who are, 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 are it's not quite organic. It's like Chem 101. So in Chem 101, the noble gases are the gases which are the most stable gases on the whole periodic table. So, so the, these, the scientists of old, they were a little more spiritual, so they called them noble, right? These people nowadays might call them something else, I don't know. But they were a little more spiritually inclined. So they, these are the noble gases. This is a Kareem. This is Kareem. They're, they're noble. Because in the outer shell of their electron, it's called the valence electrons. They have perfect balance. They have eight electrons. Eight means something too. Okay? It has eight electrons in their outer shell. And they represent perfect balance. And all of the other elements on the periodic table is trying to get to that perfect balance. And the way they get to that perfect balance is by clinging to one another. Okay? It's called bonding. And certain elements will do what's called covalent bonding. See? So those are who in college, you know what I'm talking about. If you took chemistry in high school, you might be remember it. 
Covalent bonding means like you have oxygen, right? H2O. Okay. The hydrogen shares, two hydrogens shares its electrons with oxygen so that both of them can be in balance. So they cling to each other. So your very material existence is predicated on the ability of the elements that make up your material existence having the ability to cling to each other. And if they stop clinging to each other, your potential as a material creature will cease to exist. So brothers and sisters, you better be looking for a whole bunch of things to put in your valence. Yeah, from this Quran, you need to be looking for a whole bunch of stuff. And then what is the Quran going to tell you to do? That your community is one community. Hold tight to the rope of God. And don't separate yourself. So in the microcosm, you have to cling together. In the macrocosm, you have to cling together. For your atoms to exist, you have to cling for communities to exist, you have to cling. And for your life not to be miscarried in the very beginning, you have to cling. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rabbina atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa kina adab al-nar. Rabbina dhulamna anfusina wa inlam taghfir lana wa turhamna lana kunal min al-khasinin. Kulina salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi Rabbil Alameen. La shurika la bithalika umirtu wa ana awalu al-muslimin. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ameen. Aqim al-salat. أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي للصلاة حي للصلاة حي للفلاة حي للفلاة قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله استو استو واعتدلوا make your lines even straight line up heart to heart shoulder to shoulder Allahu Akbar Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'een إحدينا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين والتين والزيتون وطور سنين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر
Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم real quick before you make your sunnah salat we have a few announcements as always we ask that you please uh, give generously in your zakat and your donations the weekend school will be resuming uh, Sunday 9.45 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. Uh, public address which we have a special public address uh, the sisters uh, will be uh, providing a public address at 1.30 p.m. on Sunday as well as the sisters will have their halakha at 7.30 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning right here at Master at Water Studio Muhammad. Uh, if you haven't registered yet for the Camp Khalil uh, Bolathon which helps benefit uh, our youth that attend the uh, annual winter camp here in Houston, uh, you can uh, Still register the uh, Bolathon is Saturday, November 11th, and you can get more information off of the uh, bulletin board. Uh, we do have the tickets for Master Ali Muhammad's uh, uh, 11th year anniversary, which will be taking place uh, the weekend of Friday, November the 10th, uh, Saturday, and Sunday. And you can get the tickets from uh, Imam Farouk. Uh, today's uh, meal uh, consists of barbecue chicken, mustard, fish, uh, beans, mixed vegetables, salad, rice, cake, and tea, as well as water, all for a low price of $10, a delicious halal meal that you can't get a meal like this. I don't believe too many places in the city that you can get a meal like this, so please go next door and get yourself a delicious meal before you leave and take one back uh, for your coworkers and, oh, back to your family if you're not going back to work. Uh, there, there was one other announcement that I had in regards to uh, the... Um, the uh, Yes, that's what it was. It must have fell on it. It's on the floor right there. So uh, please uh, be sure to uh, patronize all the vendors. And as well, if you have any uh, legal needs or you have any, a need to uh, get yourself an attorney, attorney to take care of uh, your legal business, then uh, you can see, uh, I believe.